everybody this is Julian welcome back to my channel welcome to my home here in Santa Monica California had a long morning at work getting up at 4 30 a.m. is rough to be able to do anything at this hour it is almost 4 p.m. I just got back from downtown LA to pick up more fabric now that I'm back from downtown LA I have a moment to sit down with you guys and do part two of planting with Julian and I know I didn't have enough time yesterday with the lighting going down and me having to go to the post office to mail out plant orders I had to wrap up the video so in yesterday's planting with Julian I did a bunch of drilling on the pots that I thrifted up in Arizona along with a plant haul which was a mixture of plant purchases I did with my plant friends here in Los Angeles and Las Vegas so if you haven't watched that be sure to check it out so in today's part two of planting with Julian episode I want to follow up with that by planting the babies now I have a bunch of them a lot of cuttings new babies old babies and I'm gonna try to also incorporate the planters that I drilled in yesterday's video into this episode so I hope you guys enjoy this video I have my apron on which my grandma sold me I absolutely love it I got my hair tied up in a pony and we're just gonna go right into it this will probably be a long episode because I do want to do some propagating and planting up my prickly pear cuttings so stay tuned for that I'll do it towards the end of the video so the first thing I want to do is I have a bunch of babies kind of set up here and I want to go ahead and take care of two cuttings here now I don't know if you remember my big flapjack that I got in Las Vegas and I propagated a baby off of it well as you can see I'll bring it up close so you can see here there is roots forming here so if you can see here you can see the roots forming here and it is good enough for me I'm going to put it into the bowl that I drilled a hole in in the last drilling episode with my grandma and we're just gonna go ahead and put it into this and I am going to redo the whole plant shelf by taking everything off and then redesigning it so that everybody gets a little bit of rotation and I do that with my collection my plants never stay the same place 24 hours 365 it is always constantly shifting so that they can get sun with my patio being covered with the big pine tree I tend to do that with my collection so here is the finished look and then um, I think it works out great when it gets bigger I will definitely go ahead and transplant it into a bigger planter but for now I think this is perfect and it'll look great amongst the other babies on the plant shelf All right moving along with the next cutting so these are cuttings from Evelyn and Carmen from Long Beach and Arizona so these are purple heart tritoscantias and if you take a look here there's some small roots good enough for me these propagate really easy and you can actually just stick them into dirt without having to put them into water but for me I kind of like to do it this way where I can see the roots growing and I know for sure um, I, I have good successful rooting on it and then I just will stick it into the dirt like this and for Tritoscantias, you want to make sure you don't have it in direct light. They are very finicky. The Purple Heart is a little bit more hardier, so you don't really have to worry as so much. With this variation, you don't have to worry as much, but still, it is a very finicky plant. And I'm just going to put it probably on the back shelf against my brick wall so that it's in like a shaded area and not so much direct sunlight. But I'm glad that I was able to pot them up finally in a terracotta planter and I will definitely miss this twice a week whenever I go around in rotation misting all of the babies. So I'm glad they got potted up. Thank you Carmen and Evelyn. So now moving along to a couple of things here. So do you remember the popcorn planters that I got in Arizona? So I had took out two of my Sensevarias that was in terracotta planters. They're right here. And I'm going to just place them into the popcorn planters that I purchased in Arizona at the thrift shops. So I will go ahead and do like a group shot of my sense of areas that got planted up in popcorn planters throughout my last two years of thrifting for these planters. And it's so crazy how they all like ended up being like almost like the same popcorn planter theme. Don't know how that worked out, but I think that's pretty cool that I was able to find them all in different thrift shops in different cities. So here's this one planted up. I also see a little baby here. I'll go ahead and lift it up here so you can see. 
So that makes me happy. And I'll definitely think about when I'm going to propagate babies off of my sensibarius because they're all doing great. So here's this guy here, planted up in the popcorn planter. And I'm gonna put this guy here. I actually got this in the San Diego Come With Me. There's also a little baby here. How cute is that? Actually, there's multiples here and here as well. So I know this one is fairly small and this planter might be a little bit big for it, but I wanna see how it looks and go from there. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. If it doesn't seem to be happy in this planter, I'll go ahead and make a switch, but for now, I'll keep it in this planter. So when you're planting with one person, you have to find a certain technique, especially if you're filming. I'm just using my pointer finger here to just kind of hold it up still as I fill it in with potting soil. And that is going to do it. All of my collection will get a watering today and a misting in two days before I jump on the plane to Arizona for the weekend. Can't wait to see Abby. Can't wait to see my grandma and film more content with them. So this is the new home, the new planter that got thrifted in Arizona is filled with a sense of area. So excited. I can't wait to line them all up in the popcorn planter family. That is so all cute. Right, so now we're going to move on to my Los Angeles babies that I got last week with Jenny. If you watch that, come with me. So I'm going to place this guy in an ice cream planter. Also, link is in the description bar to my Amazon store. So if you're interested in my planting tray, it is linked in the description bar. I love it. I do have a potting bench for my collection, which you see on my channel. I do a tour on it, but for video reasons and being able to have this as my background, I like to set this up. And I know a lot of you guys don't have a big patio like me that can't have a potting bench. So this can act as your little potting station. So here is these guys planted up. I think that works out great. And we'll see how they do in here. And last but not least, these guys here, which I do not want to get pricked. Let's take them out. Stack my planters, which I will use shortly. And this is a thrifted planter that I got in Arizona, I believe. And yeah, and I drilled a hole in it in yesterday's episode. So excited to put these into planters. I am always on a hunt looking for white planters because you can never have enough white planters. I know Kira would agree and I'm so excited. She agreed that she would be filming with me for her Meet My Plant Friend episode Thanksgiving weekend. So she's getting her collection ready. Can't wait to have her on my channel officially in the Meet My Plant Friend series. So this looks pretty good. And this will live probably outside in the cactus section. So here it is. I think once it gets a little bit grounded in here, it'll be okay. But for now, and this is the current look. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll keep you guys posted, but I think that works well. Anytime I use a long, tall planter, I like to pair it with a plant that is also the same length going up this way. So I definitely wouldn't put like a trolling plant in it because um, I don't think the aesthetic looks great, but that's just me. So since I didn't have an elephant's bush to put in here, I ended up putting this in and I think it works well. So now we're going to move along to the new baby from Las Vegas. So I'm glad I planted up the new babies from LA. Let's go ahead and plant up my big baby from Las Vegas next. So this is a San Pedro cactus. Kira and I split this one. She has one, I have one. And I'll definitely go ahead and insert a picture of hers planted up. She sent me a photo of hers. So 
you can see how Kira styled hers. And then I'm placing mine into a planter that my best friend Dana gave me. And I drilled a hole in it in yesterday's episode. Now without getting pricked, and this is a very heavy baby. I do kind of want it a little bit high so the baby can kind of peek out better. Okay, Julian, to be very careful, and I should be wearing my gloves, but I like to be able to feel what I'm doing. It's kind of weird, but if you are the same way with gloves, then you understand. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. I'm trying to get it in the center, but the roots is in the way to make me have it in the center. Maybe if I just break it down a little bit here. This thing is so heavy. My arm is getting tired just doing this. Ow. All right. This is the best I can do for you with your roots. So. All right, now that the horn of that car on the side of this road stopped beeping, I can go ahead and show you what it looks like all done up. So here's the final look. You can see the baby peeking out. I think it looks so cute. And I am glad that I have this guy in my collection. I love being able to get bigger pieces because I have so many small babies, but I love them. So we're gonna do two cuttings into nursery planters. And it's going in a nursery planter because it's not ready for a real nice planter. But I still love it. And this is, both both of the cuttings that I'm going to plant up right now are from Evelyn. So there's little water roots here, which is good enough for me. I'm going to go ahead, stick it way down there because it's very leggy. And fill it in with soil. This will stay on my potting bench and we'll grow there until further notice. Um, I'm glad I was able to pot this one up today. So here's this guy. And then here's the second guy with water roots. This is also from Evelyn. So I'm gonna plant it up in a nursery planter and they'll just live next to each other on my propagation shelf. And this is a cascading, both of them, cascading type of succulent. So here they are, all planted up, and they will hang out next to each other on my propagation shelf. So now that I have all of the cuttings planted up, new babies planted up, I want to go ahead and shift to planting up one house plant, and then we're going to move on to propagating more babies. So I have my house plant soil in here. I usually have my cactus and succulent mix in this one, but my grandma, when she was here and organizing, she switched them, so I'll just keep it as is for now. Now this, speaking of my grandma, was the home of my beautiful peperomia that was featured in my bathroom plant tour. I had it for over a year, but my grandma ended up killing two of my plants while she was here and um it happens but she over watered and with peperomias because they're succulents they don't need a lot of water and the way how i like to water my plants in my bathroom is putting them under the shower for like one two three seconds and then take them out but apparently she like filled the whole thing with water and my peperomia ended up dying and i'm gonna so go ahead and put in my marble queen pothos that i repurchased just because and this one I got in Las Vegas and this is um, a plant that I wanted to get just because um, I wanted a new one and it was fairly inexpensive but if you watch my channel you see how I ended up revamping my original Marble Queen Poltos but here's the condition Poltos are very rooty um, so I'm gonna try my best to kind of just get it a little loose but it's very hard when they're root bound to get them loose but 
We'll just do a little here. So even something like this works for me. And then we're going to go ahead, place it in here. And then fill the edges in, which shouldn't take long. And call it a day. This plant is so stunning. As you can see behind me, I have a bunch of trailing plants here in macrame. Um, and this guy will eventually trail. But for now, we'll see. I'll probably put it on my shelf or in the plant gang inside of my home just because it's in a white planter. And if you watch my channel, I love a nice variegated plant in an all-white planter. So that is the aesthetic that I'm going for. And I'm just gonna use my hands here to fill in the edges so it's a little bit quicker. I don't need a lot. Probably like half an inch to fill. So excited that I'm able to plant this guy. Very finicky when it comes to variegated plants. Here is the finished look. I think that pairs well. And in time, when it trails, I'll decide where I want to put it. But for now, it'll probably live in the inside of my home by the plant gang or on my shelf. Now I want to move and shift gears to my cuttings, and then we're going to also make new cuttings on a different Okay, plant. the sun is kind of shifting, but I'm still here. I have my big terracotta fern planter here. It's been housed on my potting bench for a good minute since I got that big sale haul from Orchards. And I'm gonna go ahead and place a few of my prickly pear cuttings in here. And the rest are gonna go into nursery planters and I will be selling them. If you guys are interested in picking up any cuttings and plant babies that I have, um, please do so by reaching out to me on my Instagram at plantingwithjulin. So I have a bunch of them here and I want to talk about them before we plant them up. So I have different sizes here and I'm probably going to pick and choose like a small, medium size. The rest will go up for sale and I will plant them up in today's video into nursery planters and they'll all hang out with each other until they get sold. So a bunch of my plant friends got cuttings from my prickly pear in Arizona. I gave two to Jenny, one for her bearded dragon aquarium, one for herself. I gave Kira one for her collection, which I'll go ahead and insert a photo now so you can see how she styled it, along with Catherine, and I'll go ahead and insert a picture of how she styled hers. And also and Tanya got three, and she planted them in her yard, so I'll insert a picture of that now. And I'm thinking, my mom, ended up putting one in the kitchen and one in the living room. So the prickly pear family has split off and I love doing that even with my jade tree here. So if you guys are interested in prickly pear cuttings or jade tree cuttings, please let me know. And at least you know where your plant came from and we can be plant friends. So here is the empty terracotta and I'm gonna fill it up with soil first so I have something to work with and go from there. I think I'm gonna do this here. So, I did the switch of putting my cactus succulent soil back in that silver bins. I have it filled up to how I want it. Now, first one I want to talk about is this guy. I didn't share it on my channel, but after I was done filming the video with my grandma, when I looked in the back of the mother plant, the big cactus in Arizona, this guy was actually... Uh, coming from the mother plant from here and because it was laying low to the ground it ended up rooting if you can see all the roots here there's tons of them and it ended up shooting off babies here there's one two and three and actually this came home with me um, on the air my grandma packed up the original cuttings and then my mom went a couple days later and then went with a car to drop off ebby and ended up coming home with more cuttings for me. So thank you, mom and grandma. I'm gonna go ahead and put it this way. And it's kind of funky, but I don't wanna do, there's two things I could do with this extra growth here. I can take it off or I can leave it, but I kinda wanna leave it because it just is pretty interesting. Uh, so 
so yeah, this is a very easy plant to root up and it even grows roots in the side if it ends up touching the ground that way. So very easy to propagate and make more babies. So I chose this planter because my cuttings from Tanya's Euphorbia is in the same size terracotta outside in front of my house and I thought it worked perfect. I'm going to probably put two chopsticks up here so that it can stand tall um, because it's been kind of laying flat in my patio. I'm going to grab more soil here. And as far as for those euphorbias that Tanya gave me, there is tons of little baby growths on the top. So that is really cool. So now that I have this here, I want to make sure that soil is covering the bottom. So I'll get chopsticks in a second to prop up that extra growth. And then I'm going to pick out a few I think I want to keep this guy here because he's tall and interesting. We'll put him here. He'll be a family. So you'll go here and they've been calloused over now for way over a week. So they are ready to be planted up. Also, this tip is for my grandma and anybody new to cuttings. You do not want to water your cuttings. They will root rot. So my grandma watered my totem pole cuttings and I had four. I had a tall one and three medium sized ones and the tall one actually root rot. So this is what's left of what was the tallest cutting that I got. And I had to cut it off with the scissors. I don't think I can save it, but this is what it looks like. And it was nice and soft and soggy and rotten. So just beware that that does happen if you water your cuttings so do not water them you know let it be a good month until you water them and when you do water them you are not going to water heavy it is a very light water these type of plants do not like a lot of water and i think i'm going to choose one more cutting let's see here just one more I think I like this size here. I think this is going to be the one. Yep. Okay. So I got different sizes that I want to keep for me. And I want to kind of get it deep and packed into the dirt so that they will stand tall. And in time it'll be rooted and then they wouldn't need any additional crutches like a chopstick but that is going to do it I think that looks pretty good I'm gonna bring it up close and then for this guy here I'm just gonna turn it this way so I can see what I'm working with and I just want to make sure that this is nice and deep into the planter and I'll put some sticks here to prop it up but that looks pretty good. So let me see if I can lift this up so I can get a closer point of view for you guys here. So this is what it looks like. I think that looks great. Once I get the chopsticks, it'll look just like this standing up. So I'm gonna place this on the ground and we are gonna plant up the rest of the babies into nursery planters. And I'm so excited I was able to get this into dirt. It was kind of difficult because it was lying down long ways, which makes it like really hard to find a planter to put this guy in. So I went to the other side of my house and I got my empty nursery planters. I always keep them for propagation. And I'm just gonna size them up real quick and then we're gonna plant them. These will all be for sale. I already gave all of my plant friends their cuttings. But I definitely will be doing a propagation video getting ready for the holidays. So I'm really excited to have my Planting with Julian episode switch up a bit for the holidays doing propagation for the upcoming holiday season. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so
So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, seven. I have seven babies that I want to go ahead and plant up now. These will go for sale. A bunch of you already got plant babies from me. And I will go ahead and share all of the pictures that you guys sent to me at the end of the video. I always like to see the photos of my plant babies planted up in your collection. That makes my plant heart feel a bit green. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of make this easy for me by placing the soil in my potting tray so I have more space to work with and I think it might be easier. So we'll do this. And for cuttings, I don't do a lot of dirt. As long as the end is covered in soil, that's all you really need. So it'll just go something like this. So it'll look like this with very little soil in here uh, definitely enough to get it rooted up these babies will probably go in front of my house so that they get full sun Just get like that so excited to have these a bunch of these were the ones that my mom had brought back and some of them are from when I was there. That works out great. And then the next plant we're gonna work on is a rescue. Well, I don't think it's a rescue, but it's a rescue to me because Kira gave it to me because she couldn't handle such a high maintenance plant. But I'm gonna fix it up, propagate it, and make new babies. Put a little bit more soil in this. I will try to film another video after this if the sun allows me. And okay guys, I think that's it. So they're all potted up. I'll show you one up close so you can see. And they will live in the front of my place until they are purchased. And when I do send out my plant babies, they don't get shipped with soil. They are bare root and wrapped up nicely and therefore it is cheaper to ship out the plant that way but i have seven of them planted up into dirt and they will be for sale so if you guys are interested in any of my prickly pear cuttings or my jade cuttings for my tree as well as the zigzag cactus the rickrack cactus let me know and hit me up in the direct messages on planting with julian on instagram i'm gonna go ahead and clear this out and we're going to move on to our next planting project okay so this is going to be fun do you remember my ziploc experiment project in my bathroom with my peperomia cuttings well i'm going to go ahead and take them out and put them into planters and then we're going to use the ziploc bag for the new babies so take a look at that do you see that i'll bring it up close so you can see there's a baby sprouting out how cool is that there's another one. There's a bunch in here. We're going to reuse the Ziploc bag. Here's another one. So this was the one that was struggling, but there is a little root here if you can see. That makes me happy. We'll go ahead and put it back in a Ziploc bag once I put them into planters. So this is step two of saving a leaf. You definitely don't have to throw them out if they are on the thick side. Peperomias do really well. So here's a different point of view so you can see what the cuttings look like. And we're going to just go ahead and plant them up. I have them all out of the Ziploc bag. And I do want the roots pretty low in there. So as you can see, there's some soil in here. I'm going to hold it with my two fingers like this and fill it in. Now, I could also do two things here, but I'm not. I could put two in one and save some real estate, but I have so many planters, I'm just gonna give them an individual home so I don't have to mess with them and they can stay here until I see a baby sprouting out. I'm gonna give it a mist here. Set it to the side. We'll just put it back here out of the way. Get the next baby. Now this guy is pretty small. I could definitely put two. We'll do that. Okay. 
Okay, this doesn't need a lot of soil, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the roots are in there. And we'll put two in here. So it looks like that. Missed it. And I'll keep you guys posted in Planting with Julian episodes in the future on how these do. I will definitely put them back in the bathroom and in a Ziploc bag so that they can have their greenhouse effect still. So I'm going to put these two together. Make sure their roots is covered and in the soil. This makes me so happy. I can't wait to tell my grandma that I planted up my little experiment. And I did this all without rooting powder. So that's pretty fun. Also thumbs up the video if you like seeing me work with my cuttings in this point of view. There's a lot of roots in here. So I think because that has a lot of roots, will have its own house to itself. That looks pretty good. That. Now I don't want too many planters then. I'll just run out of space in my home and I'm not trying to do that. Although I do have the other side of my patio that is just um, empty. So here you can see there is a plant baby there with tons of roots. This is my most prized one. Oh no, will you fit? I think I need a bigger planter, guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and find a bigger planter. So we'll set that one on the side. But this one here will fit. Hey, super, super cool. So that looks like that. And I'm gonna find a little big planter that's going to fit this last cutting because this one, I could do it like this, but I don't wanna do that. So let me get a little bigger planter for this. Okay, so I have a bigger planter here. There is so much commotion going on. There was just another car beeping its life away and then now I have the neighbor's dog barking. There is a lot of commotion up in here. All right, let's go ahead and see. Yep, that looks good. Let's go ahead and add this here. Okay. Okay, little baby, I'm counting on you to get a little bigger. I'll make sure you're seen on my side here I'm not covered under dirt all right that is going to do it for that side but I want a little bit more on this side okay I think that is pretty good so I don't know if the camera will pick it up but the baby's there and it's going to just hang out in this planter I'm going to go ahead and mist it. So I now have the babies planted up as you can see. Here, they're all here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So now they graduated to step two into an individual planter. I got two and two in here, one, 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 one. And I'll keep you guys posted on how these go. And I will definitely take pictures of them as they give me more babies from their cuttings. So I'm gonna move this along to the side and we're gonna work on our next project. So I'm taking apart the peperomia here that Kira gave me. And whatever fallouts we have, we're gonna propagate it the same way how we did with the Ziploc method. But I figure since I already have a watermelon peperomia, we bought ours the same time. I'm going to go ahead and split this off to get more babies. And this will just be our little experiment. And once I have more cuttings into little babies, I'll definitely go ahead and 
sell them if you guys are interested. I know this is a lot of people's wish list plant. And maybe in the city where you're at, it's hard to find. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this for this guy here. Now, for instance, with these guys, there's two things you can do. Because they're drooping and they look crazy, we can fix them. And we're going to do that right now. So because this particular plant has this drooping effect, you can easily fix it if you don't like the look by pretty much taking the stem off. So I just get to the bottom of it. So I want to go ahead and trim up this, guys. I will do it by hand so any drooping ones I'm just gonna take off and we're gonna make new babies off of it and set it to the side here's another one this one is kind of crazy pack the sew in here so it stands up a little straighter my hands are definitely getting dirty right now um, and then this looks kind of crazy too so let's go ahead and propagate this one here. Mm -hmm. I'll do this guy too. And I think that's going to be good for this. Okay, so here's the fix up on this one. This will be an entirely new baby. Don't like that little section here. I'm going to propagate this guy here. Off. Okay, so this plant is cleaned up. It looks crazy, but give it some time. It'll look good. Here's one. I'll set it off here to the side. These guys will all get propagated shortly. We'll leave it off here. Let's see what else we're working with. Now, if you can get a nice round leaf, great for propagating. And then let's see what's going on here. This may just be one more plant on this side here. I think so. So, this is a whole another plant. So I just split it in two apparently. So that's cool, we got two plants. So you can propagate by separation. I do that often to share plants with plant friends. And then I'm going to fix this guy up. Once I have him in a planter, I can kind of see his condition. Let's see if it'll work well in this planter here. Okay. I'll definitely share pictures to Kira when I'm done filming this video on what I did with her watermelon peperomia. She had this plant the same time I got mine. So we purchased it together and she had hers. We got ours definitely well over a year ago in our collection in Las Vegas. I haven't seen it in Las Vegas since. All right, so all right. this is the condition of the plant. It's kind of crazy, but watermelon peperomias can be kind of crazy looking. This side looks pretty good, right? I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments here, cleaning it up a little. So I just get right to the bottom of it and I think that could stay. This will come off. We'll put more soil back here. Okay, this is the current condition. Looks crazy. But I think what I'm doing to the plant now is better than the condition it was in. So this is the two babies that I just got out of that. And now we're gonna work with whatever we have left. So I'm gonna take a look at what I have and we're gonna make cuttings here. So I'm gonna clip off the bottom here, get rid of that. And then we're gonna make some cuts here. I'm gonna cut right down in the center, put it to the side, 
cut again here. Put it to the side. So if any of your peperomia leaves fall off, propagate it. I'm going to put it in the Ziploc bag that I just took my cuttings out of. And this will go back in my bathroom with these cuttings. And I'm not too sure about this guy, but who knows? And then this guy here. We'll see what happens. There's a bunch of them. All right, this one is far gone. All right. So now that I got all my cuttings, move along to the side. Add a little bit more soil in here. The soil is already moist. I'll give it a spritz in a second. So here's the Ziploc set up. I am going to just stick the ends into the Ziploc like so. And then continue to do that until they're all in the Ziploc. I'll give it a mist once I'm done putting all of them in here. Close up the bag with a little hole opening on the top so it's breathable. This guy here. So I'm just putting the edges into soil. The soil is already a little moist. And I'm going to forget about this. I will check it once in a while, maybe once every two weeks to see how the moisture is in here. But other than that, it probably won't be ready until maybe two months or so. So this is how I like to do my leaf cuttings for the initial state because it takes less space and this goes right next to my bathroom tub like so. So now that I have this set up and they're all in soil, I'm going to get my bottle, give it a little mist and forget about it. Zip it up like so with a little opening here and this will go back into my bathroom. Okay, so I cleaned up my space and I have everything I planted up today on my Tiffany blue table. So starting on this end, I have all of my cuttings here. My two plant friend cuttings got planted up from water propagation into nursery planters. These are from Ellen, my bestie in Long Beach. My Peperomia Ziploc Experiment cuttings finally got planted up into nursery planters and these are my prickly pear cuttings that I am selling and they are planted up into nursery planters they are calloused over I split Kira's peperomia plant into two different planters so that I get two plants off of that not including all of the ziploc cuttings and then moving on to this side everything that I have into a planter made it on this end here so I have my flapjack cutting that I got as a extra little bonus from the mother plant planted into my home goods pot that I drilled up with my grandma my purple heart tritiscantia cuttings from Evelyn and Carmen in Arizona the plant share purchase that I got in downtown LA in an ice cream planter I split it with Jenny along with this guy so you can always do that when you plant shop with friends and then my bird's nest sensivarias got planted up into the popcorn planters that I thrifted in Arizona. So they just made a shift. I had them in my collection for quite some time. And then my newest baby here, my San Juan cactus from Las Vegas, which is also a plant friend share. Um, I got one, she got one, and we both had babies in ours. Got planted up into a planter my best friend Dana gave me. Drilled a hole through that in yesterday's Planting with Julian episode. In the far back here, you can see the chopstick holding up that cutting. And these are the ones that I'm keeping in my collection. So you can see what it looks like here. I have three in different sizes and then that interesting guy that just got into that situation by laying down on the ground on the bottom of the mother plant. Popped up three babies. So I'm just keeping it as is like and that. To wrap up this whole 
plant gang is my beautiful marble queen potos which is my repurchased baby because i wanted another one and it's planted up in the planter that was housing my peperomia in my bathroom that my grandma killed and this is a quick overview of what everything looks like that was a lot of planting all right guys that is going to wrap up the video i hope you enjoyed this very long planting with julian it was definitely much needed I got my prickly pear cuttings planted up into soil, kept some for me, selling the rest. Kira's peperomia got split up and propagated into the Ziploc bag experiment method. And then I have the peperomias that I took out of the Ziploc bag into planters, which makes me super happy. And then I have my beautiful marble queen potos planted up in a planter, as well as all of my new purchase babies from Los Angeles and Las Vegas as well as some plant friend cuttings and propagation. So there was definitely a mixture of different type of planting techniques, plants, new planters, old planters, uh, new babies, old babies planted up in today's video. So it was definitely everything you can think of planting. I hope this inspires you one way or the other and definitely think outside of the box when you are plant purchasing or trading with friends. You just never know what you're gonna come across and you can definitely multiply your babies and share the plant love to the plant community around you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and reach out to me at Planting with Julian on Instagram if you guys are interested in any of my plant cuttings. I know I recently shipped out a bunch to a bunch of you guys, which I will go ahead and share now. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for sending me photos of your new baby planted up. It just makes me nice and happy and warm and green inside my plant heart, knowing that I was able to help you with your plant collection and we are officially plant friends, which is super cool. I just think that is so fun. So if you guys are interested in purchasing plants, reach out to me and I definitely would love to spread the plant love in this green community that I am hoping to inspire one video at a time. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite part of today's long Planting with Julian episode. I'm hoping I get to film one more video before the sun goes down. And stay tuned for more planting videos, whether it's in Santa Monica, Las Vegas, Arizona. Who knows where I'll go next. I hope you guys are enjoying the Planting with Julian series. There is always something new happening in my patio. Don't forget, if you are new, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I do an upload, which I'm trying to do at least five videos a week with my traveling schedule of traveling every week. So excited to see Evie and my grandma in two days. You can find more on my blog at ilovejulin.blogspot.com. Follow me on Instagram at Planting with Julin. There will be a giveaway coming soon. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica. Bye.